Hey there, YouTubers. Welcome back. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. We're going to continue on with our VBA V lookup. And last time we showed you that we could make a macro where all it was, very simple, is wherever we selected and we ran our V lookup of whatever was in that cell, E6, it would look it up in this little table here. And when we ran it, it would plop that in the actual cell not like a function where it would actually have a function there, but it actually plops the actual value of the VLOOKUP in that cell. So that's pretty useful. Um, but there's more we could do with that. We're going to look at another way to do that VLOOKUP. And so let's uh, review kind of what we did just a second ago. Very simply, our VBA VLOOKUP procedure here was very simply on error resume next so if it's a bad VLOOKUP if you typed a typo it's not going to send this error message to your screen and freak out your user it's just going to kind of not do anything and that will that will tell them that it didn't work so it's selection dot value uh, because we wanted to just click anywhere we want and that selection that cell that's selected would contain the application dot worksheet function dot v lookup we were looking up what whatever is in range with the cell e6 and we were looking in our table called pt underscore table that we named and then column two for the description here and then zero meaning a uh, uh, an exact match. What we're going to do now is we're going to do it kind of the old-fashioned way and then we're going to manipulate that a little bit. So equals V lookup just like you're doing it for real in, in a worksheet regular way. Click here is what we're looking up E6 comma and the table array is called PT underscore table so hit tab um, column, uh, column 2 comma 0 and so there's our VLOOKUP the regular way. What we could do <coughs> is uh, we could actually copy this. Control C. Okay, and I hit Escape. Now Alt F11 will go back here. And we'll do one called VBA, oops, sub VBA VLOOKUP 2. That's what we'll call this one. Okay, all we're going to do is on error, of course, resume next. What we're going to do is plop that function in that cell. So we could either do it in always in cell F6 if we wanted to, or we could do it in the selected cell. Just for variety, we'll say range uh, F6 is going to contain this answer. So um, it's going to be, let's just say dot value equals that. And of course, you surround it by quotes. Okay, you surround it by quotes. And so what we're saying is F6's value is going to be that function. So let's try it. I'm going to erase this function out of there. God forbid, right? Um, and we'll hit Alt F8. And we'll go to v lookup, VBA VLOOKUP2 and double click on it. And so you notice that this cell is now filled with not the actual answer, but a, a valid function. Check that out. It's filled with a function. So um, that's kind of how you do that. If you wanted to use this method to get the answer, but then you wanted it to fill it with the actual answer, here's a really easy cheat to do that. Check this out. So at first we said range 6 dot value is that stuff there. Now you just say range 6 control V equals range F6. So F6 equals the actual value of F6. This is going to blow your mind, but I'm going to go ahead and hit F5 to run this macro, and you can visually watch it right here when I hit F5. It'll run this to plop the function in there, and then it'll take the answer from that function and plop it in the actual cell, F5. You see there that it just changed to the actual answer, the VLOOKUP. So if I typed in MW834, uh, and we hit Alt F8, and we run our VBA lookup too. It doesn't have a problem with the fact that this is not capitalized. But if we did the the other way, it might. Um, let's try both ways. It might not. Double click here. No, no, it didn't have a problem with that. Well, that's fantastic. Anyway, uh, that's how to do that. And thank you for watching.